Hi, and welcome to In the World of Winooski. I'm Mayor Christine Lott, and today I'm joined by some of my fellow city councilors to talk about the policy advisory commissions that we have in Winooski. Want to introduce yourselves? Yeah, so uh, I'm Deputy Mayor Thomas Renner. Uh, thanks for having me on the show today, Christine. And I'm Councilor Aurora Hurd. Very excited to be here talking about this important work. Thank you both for joining me. Um, we're seated here in our council chambers yeah. as we're discussing sort of policy work. Um, I think first, for folks who are new, want to ask, what are policy advisory commissions? <laughs> Thomas, would you like to start? Yeah, that's a good question. Um, so city council is responsible for setting policy in Winooski. Uh, but in order to bring in more community voices and more perspectives, uh, the council has policy advisory com uh, commissions. And what they're able to do is focus deeply in the work of what we're trying to set on council. Uh, they're really able to dive into it and provide council with recommendations. Aurora, what would you add? Yeah, I, the council is part of appointing those community members to serve in those roles. So that's one of the council connections. I really think serving on a commission is one of those excellent ways to get involved mm -hmm. in public work and learning about like what is public government and local government in general, both yeah. at our municipal level and you get a bit of a taste of the state level too. So these are volunteer positions for this direct policy work. Commissioners kind of own the discussion of the areas that they are assigned. So say housing or municipal infrastructure. Um, I think those are those are really some of the main things they suggest creation of new policies or can advise us on updating policies that we already have. Yeah, you mentioned the areas. So um, for folks reference, we have policy commissions aligned to each of our strategic vision areas. So um, housing, infrastructure, uh, finance, well, economic development, finance um, and safe, healthy, connected people. Let's talk a little bit about where those focus. Um, Aurora, can I start with you? You want to talk about the commissions that you serve on. Oh, and I left one out. Yes. So there is the Inclusion and Belonging Commission. This is our kind of newest commission, and it acts as an advisory group both to the city council and to the other commissions. So it's focused on that equitable policy work and looking at the strategic vision as a whole, the master plan as a whole, the other thing that this commission does is provide equity ambassadors to the other commissions. So not just is this a body that helps the city council, it's a body that kind of brings that needed representation to these other commissions mm -hmm. and make sure that equity is really a part of everything that we do and all that we think about when approaching our strategic plan. Yeah, it's great having those ambassadors sort of connecting across the different um, more like policy focused ones. Thomas, tell us about um, a commission that you've served on. Yeah, so Safe, Healthy, uh, Connected People. Uh, I have served on that commission um, and also now oversee it as a council member, which is a nice little 360 loop. Um, and it kind of the name kind of says what it is. It's about um, our, our community goals implementing around safe, healthy, and connected people of our strategic goal. Uh, so we want to foster relationships between generations and cultures. Um, so it kind of ties into a little bit about what you were talking about as well, Aurora, by providing a safe and healthy environment and providing opportunities to connect and engage with other residents of the city. So I like to think of it as like, it's the, it's the social commission. It's the commission that makes Winooski feel the way that Winooski feels. Yeah, yeah. that's a great way to describe it. Um, the other ones may be a little more straightforward. We have municipal infrastructure, and they've weighed in on some of our infrastructure projects and planning. Yeah. Um, we have, I said, a finance commission tied to our economic development strategic area, but they sort of look at the financial impacts of decisions that we're making. Yeah. Um, we have a housing commission, which is, of course, focused on creating access to all the range of housing that we need in the city. They've been doing a lot of work. Um, and in conjunction with uh, our planning commission, which not aligned to the strategic vision areas, but a state mandated body that oversees our land use regulations. And so, for example, if you were serving on one of those, um, we've been doing a lot of uh, having them do a lot of work around housing incentives, right? Yes, we have. <laughs> um, or zoning changes to support housing and that sort of thing. Mm -hmm. um, 
Aurora, you also used to serve on um, our library committee, which isn't exactly the same, but do you want to tell us a little bit about that? Yeah, I can talk a little bit about that. So the library committee actually reports up to the Safe, Healthy, Connected People Commission and is really that focus and support for our library. Libraries are, you know, kind of where our residents come in and maybe even first and only interact with the city at some point so it has this additional support and the commissioners or the commission yeah the committee members on that really provide that insight and support to the library director as well as getting fed up to the safe healthy connected people commission and that's one of our commissions that has a specific youth role too which is mm. new and very exciting i think that's exciting. yeah we've we've recruited and, and actually had some youth participation in the other bodies before but that one is actually specified yep um that's really great i think the way you described how they support or provide input for library staff is a good segue mm. thomas will you talk a little bit about the structure of how the these bodies are supported yeah, so it's, it's really interesting because it's completely citizen-oriented. So anybody can apply for the commission, there's an interview process, and then you're on the commission. Most of them meet, well, actually, they all meet at different variances, right? Some of them, it's once a month. It seems that others kind of skip around. But one important thing, and you mentioned this at our last council meeting, is that um, the body decides how often they meet and when they meet and what it looks like, which makes it a really great opportunity for folks to shape it to how it can work with their life you know if they have kids or jobs or whatever that may be um so the commissions set their own agendas uh, there's a chair of each commission that works with a member of city staff who oversees uh, that commission and then there's a member of council who is there to advise and kind of give them the idea of what council's thinking about and what our intent is when we are pushing things towards the commissions um and those bodies, um, as we mentioned earlier, they advise council. They do a lot of the in-depth work that we're here not always able to do because we're focusing on so many different things. Um, so they're really able to hone in on one, uh, on one topic at a time. And that was one of the things that I thought was really interesting when I served on the commission. Um, we were asked about, you know, what the police department was engaging in, the fire department, our parks department. So you're really involved in what the city is doing. And I think that's just really something unique. And, and really special to, to Winooski, and it's a great way to be involved. Yeah, and, and I think definitely want to highlight that there is that council support and that staff support, mm -hmm. um, and that's kind of how you're able to see both those sides of both get that support and the information and kind of see a little bit of how the city works and how the council works and how those two things come together. And the council liaison can really be that they report in and then report out to so again yeah. thinking about how do we really ensure that these bodies are connected to the council um, and are really able to provide that policy level support yeah i think that's really important because we're this is all really guided by the master plan right mm -hmm. and then the priorities that council sets each year and then these folks are tasked with digging in deeper and bringing really important community recommendations to us, yeah. but keeping everything aligned toward our, our shared community vision. Exactly, and, and talking about that shared community vision, Christine, I just do wanna mention um, that we also offer language interpretation for anybody who may wanna join one of the commissions, uh, childcare as well. We wanna make sure that there aren't any barriers to people being able to serve, and we want the commissions to reflect what Winooski looks like. So young folks, old folks, people with kids, people who don't speak English as a first language, we really wanna make sure that everyone's included. Yeah, um, we, we seek to have representation, right, on the bodies, but also for folks to drop in, right? Like, if you're just interested in one topic, or maybe you've thought about volunteering, but you yeah. want to see what it's like first, all the meetings are publicly um, open. Exactly. Um, the other thing I would say is you don't need to have specific experience, mm. right? These are volunteer um, community member positions, and... Coming just as a member of the community is a part of your experience. Exactly. Definitely. And I think we are here if you're kind of curious about it, and, but also a little unsure. We're here to at, answer questions as well as provide some support and guidance if you want that. Um, I really think about getting commissions as that wonderful way to exactly connect and engage in community. You get to bring your perspective to the conversation, and that's honestly the most important thing. Your lived experience and your experience of Winooski 
is what we want to know in these policy areas. Mm -hmm. And again, yeah, you get that kind of insight into learning about local government. I served on the library com uh, committee for about five years and then went on to run for city council. And that was a really, really great way to connect with my fellow community members and get that understanding to feel comfortable to run. Yeah, I, I also served on a commission first. I was on housing before city council. Um, and I really wanted to engage in the community more, yeah. learn more about when you ski, um, exactly. meet people and understand what was going on and built enough knowledge that I yeah. felt like I could help. <laughs> um, is there anything else that you all want to offer from your experience with our policy advisory commissions? Yeah, I just think it's, I mean, I mentioned it a little bit, but it's, it's a really great way to get involved. Um, you know, it's not there. There's work that you have to do and there's reading that you have to do, but it's, you know, it's not incredibly labor intensive. Um, it's something that's definitely very part time. So don't feel afraid by the word, you know, commission and advising on policy like you are doing those things, but you're not taking up, you know, like a regular work day. Um, yeah. And your experience is, is valuable. You know, when I served on my commission, I didn't know anything about the police department or the fire department or how to manage a park system or the pool. Um, but what I knew is that I cared about Winooski and wanted to be involved. and. It was a really easy lift for me to do and I uh, gained a lot of knowledge from doing that and got to meet some really good people and it's it's a really fulfilling thing um, to be a part of yeah and I think we are all really excited to support folks who want to engage in this way for the first time and are yes again very new to doing city work and really these commissions are hopefully for you all to bring that in and that volunteer piece is really key too mm -hmm. so again we do there is that interview process and the council does have that final appointing power but we're really excited when you are all excited so yeah. definitely check them out and apply if you're interested yeah. so true the last thing i want to say is that while we are sitting here in the council chambers these bodies are not formal the way city council is, so <laughs> yeah. they're really discussion based and, and I don't want people to feel intimidated. Yeah. Um, and I will just add that you can learn more about these opportunities at WinooskiVT.gov. Um, if you click on the government tab, you can find boards and commissions under there. And of course, reach out to any member of your city council yeah. or city staff can even point you in the right direction. I hope um, folks are a little more interested in learning about our policy advisory commissions and maybe serving in the future. Thank you for tuning in.